All right. Um, I recorded a 25 minute video with another microphone and then the audio was unusable. So that sucks. But what, what that whole video drove home to me is that Joel Embiid's just too lethargic defensively to be considered a great defender. And with one play, I'm going to try and explain why I think M- Max- Tyrese Maxey is a far more impactful player than Joel Embiid, and um, particularly on the defensive end. So here is an entry pass, and Embiid is just a touch too slow. I would like Embiid to be right in Vassal's face or even pick off the pass. But Embiid's a bit too slow, and then jumps and essentially fouls the offensive player. So that's no good. And then, at this point, he should understand that Batum, hit in front of him, has the ball carrier as his primary assignment. And so Embiid needs to think, all right, so if the one guy is covered, who should I cover? And perhaps that's him just focusing in on trying to block shots a little bit too much. But he should now have the awareness to say, okay, there's a perimeter shooter out here who I need to get to. So let's see if Embiid makes the effort to get out to him. He does not. Okay? So, from this we can from this evidence we can say that Embiid is a touch slow in identifying when the defense is under threat. He jumps and potentially fouls guys a little bit too much and he's unwilling to get out to perimeter shooters when he should. Okay? Now, what does Maxi do throughout this whole play? Okay, so got his arms wide, so it's like don't even think about passing near me, right? He's got, in his peripheral vision, he's got the corner shooter and what's going on with um, the ball at the top of the key. And now he's aware that the ball's inside. And now he's not just focusing on his own guy, He's actually covering for his team. So he covers Wemby here, who is um, a bigger threat than the perimeter guy, who was Maxi's initial assignment, because Wemby's just simply closer, right? So you should always try and take away the closest defender, I think. Um, and then Maxi all right, sees that the ball's out on the perimeter, and now he has to go out and try and close out. Now, I prefer guys who don't leave their feet um, when closing out because he's just completely out of the play now. All it would take is a little pump fake, a dribble left, and then that's a wide open shot or a drive at the rim for a potential end one. Um, But so essentially Maxi is just so, is just a higher effort guy defensively. Okay. And unfortunately, the scouting report will say, well, Maxi gave up this bucket. But in my, in my opinion, Max, Maxi did far more to help his team defensively on this play than Embiid did. And so, you know, I've seen people say that Embiid should be a contender for Defensive Player of the Year. And I just kind of beg to differ just in that he's a bit too lethargic um, to get to the right spots defensively. Um,